and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frozen Challengers. It's going to be our uh, next deck with the brand new patch coming out with Bastion. We're seeing a lot of people play Lee Sin and Zed and uh, you know really try out Bastion decks. And so what we're going to be doing here is we built an anti Lee Sin and Zed, anti Bastion deck. And we want to see how that works because um, so what we're going to do is we want Ash. Ash seems really important to fight Lee Sin. Um, and that's what we ran into with our, our uh, Tarek Lee Sin deck just a little bit ago. We did run into um, a whole bunch of Ash decks, ran into three of them. And those were those were pretty tough, like where they'd always have Ash and they'd be able to Frostbite. Um, during the attack, it doesn't matter if you have a, a Spell Shield or not, that, that Frostbite is still going through. Um, and, you know, like that makes things a lot more difficult and so we're going to pair that we're going to go, going to go old school and pair that with rhyme thing wolf being able to strike things with zero power i think that that combination could be pretty cool so we're going to try this combination out going to be pairing it with demacia with a lot of other challengers also with our frostbite cards because if bastion is protecting from spells with the spell shield then we you know we need to be able to remove stuff we don't really want to play uh, play spells right like that really incentivizes you not to play spells if there's going to be spell shield so we're going to be trying to use removal with the challengers so you can tell we have no single combats in here and no concerted strikes that could be a mistake we're going to try it out we do have one judgment um, which this does strike through spell shield pretty sure because it doesn't this doesn't target i think we're going to find out but we're discussing it in chat and i think this should work through a spell shield <clears throat> but we have that, and then, you know, just Frostbite cards and just Challengers. You know, we got Genevieve Elmhart, Swiftwing Lancer, Screeching Dragon. Both these are pretty good. We're going to just have two of each of those and these other uh, Challengers. And then um, Triple Flash Freeze to be able to, to answer that, and, and Harsh Winds, Brittle Steel, um, even Troll Chance for, for some protection. Uh, so that's kind of that's what our deck's all about. A Cythrio helps pump up our stuff and uh, is a nice finisher as well. Fearsome and Frostbite work together. All right, so let's go play over in ranked. We're going to go play five games, uh, you know, see how this does, trying out a brand new deck to fight the new metagame already on day one. Let's see how we do. Our Tarek Lee Sin deck didn't do the best. Like I said, struggled against a bunch of Frostbite decks. And then, like, Karma Ezreal. Okay, so we have Rhyme Fang Wolf, so we're not, not playing against... Well, I mean, they could definitely have Bastion, I guess. We're playing against a Nightfall deck. Um, we're going to Mulligan the 5 drop and our second Rhyme Fang Wolf. We'll keep one to go along with a Brittle Steel. Let's see what else we get. Okay, so Judgment was working for you against Bastion. Cool, but it was a little while ago. Might could have been changed. I don't think that would have changed. So hopefully that still works. And unless the only way it would have changed is if it was a bug and they uh, and if it was something that wasn't supposed to work. But I, I think it should just work because it's counting as striking. Um, so I think that should work. All right, let's lead with Fiora. I could go troll chant, but I'm not going to. We're gonna see what they do. Could definitely have Unspeakable Horror. Alright, and there we'll have our Troll Chant for that. Alright, so we have a 3-2 Fiora. I like that draw, that's a good draw. You can definitely see Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade doesn't save, you know, doesn't save this Diana now. Another good troll chant. And right now we're kind of on like the, just the Fiora plan, so I'm just gonna keep. I'm not even going to play the Rhyme Fang Wolf. I'm just going to keep the mana available. Um, yeah, just kind of... Ooh. 
Well, I will play that. <laughs> That's a good one. Alright, because that should frostbite that. There we go. Alright. Fro frozen challengers. Looking good. So troll. Alright, this is a good a good matchup. A good challenge. Twisted Fate Gangplank's an awesome deck. I, w I wonder if they're still playing Petty Officer. I would say probably. I'd say that's that's probably pretty likely. Um, our deck has, what, 25 and 15, right? 26. 26 and 14 for units and spells. Um, I'm going to mulligan the spells. Okay. The Bright Steel Protector basically acts as a spell. In position. Boom. And the Ice Veil Archer kind of does as well. Which one of these would I rather have in play first? If I had to play one of these right now. I guess it would be this. Which I think I should play one of these right now. Because this is the very aggressive version. They'll never see it coming. My life for Avarosa. Damn it. They would fall by my blade. Alright, Fiora, got some work to do. Ooh, Ramping Wolf. I cannot play you and play these other cards. A chill in the air. Deal me in. All that glitters. My shield is yours. Arrows at the ready. And that's why I led with that one first. So basically the The problem with trading my Bright Steel Protector for the Legion Grenadier, which normally wouldn't be a, a trade that I'd mind, but the problem with, with doing that right now is then that gives them another damage for leveling up Gangplank on my turn, and that's why I didn't frostbite the Legion Grenadier, and I wasn't, I wouldn't have been um, aiming towards killing that thing. Um, we are going to Precision just do straight up trades. Stay back. Across the board, and go towards Swiftwing Lancer and Genevieve Elmhart. I mean, this isn't a trade, but this keeps them, oh no, 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 they're still gonna do damage to me anyway. So, uh, let's block, block like that. I like getting the one health things out of here. They're still going to be doing damage to me either way. I don't need to worry about plunder. But I like getting my one health things out of here so before like a make it rain just kills my one health things. Like at least we're trading with the units. <laughs> I should call this deck pain in the ash. Yeah, I mean our our deck. Um, that's that could be a struggle. My lead. It's just straight nexus damage. Um, we can't stop that. Don't have any any healing in here. Don't have any life steal. Um, all all our deck does is control the board really well, which is what we want against these Lee Sin decks. But just uh, decks that are going to be straight burn could be a little tougher. If they don't break. Already down to four. For the glory of Noxus. Hold nothing back. Right, no Noxion Fervor is good. Remember the Dang. Very unlikely that we win this. If we would get one more attack, we probably would, but yeah, we're not getting another attack, so. 
That's a lot of Nexus damage. GG's. Man, we really haven't been playing against Lee Sin Zed too much. How people are people in chat were saying it was everywhere and we we're gonna be playing some anti Lee Sin decks. We're really not getting paired against it. Um Yeah, this this is probably gonna be a really bad matchup for us. Them going really big and not caring about these challengers. This is probably going to be rough. Uh, Swiftwing Lancer can kill some stuff, so I'm going to keep that card. Maybe I just shouldn't. Maybe I should just Mulligan Fiora and Swiftwing Lancer, because really I want Ash and Rhyme Fang Wolf. Those are probably my two best cards. And then, like, Troll Chant to protect those. That's probably what I want. So uh, maybe I should just Mulligan to everything. Brittle Steel is the worst card. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. Okay, we got Ash. That's a good one. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Why would they pass priority and then do that? Just like, what's the upside? I don't even know. All the world on one arrow. I will cut you down. I always consider passing and not actually attacking. I think that one was probably still worth it. So Icequake is like the the biggest thing that, that could be bad for me. So I can just take another attack and just put him down to seven. I don't know like what... So like, I guess Icequake is how I get really punished for playing Swiftwing Lancer. Play it. I don't think they're gonna have Ice Quake. It's a Shadow Isles deck. I do think they'll likely have Ruination. I think that's pretty likely. Okay, so what we're thinking about here is do we play Repost to force them to do some things so they don't get to Ruination? Like, right, if I play Repost, then they have to have, like, Vengeance and they don't get to Ruination. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I think I think going greedy is is really important in this matchup too, because I think I think this is going to be pretty tough. Like we have three complete dead cards in our hand: brittle steel. I mean, harsh winds isn't complete dead, I guess, but brittle steels are completely dead. So like we have, so we're playing cards that just don't do it. Like brittle steel has no text, unless I want to start brittle stealing my own stuff so that we can start leveling up Ash. So in that kind of matchup, whenever we have a bunch of things with no attacks, I think we do have to be very greedy. My strength is yours. Show me a worthy opponent. You could have fought by my side. Oh, I can't even. I can't even frostbite. Brittle, brittle steal my own stuff. <clears throat> can't even brittle steal my own stuff. What kind of world are we living in these days? Yeah, I know. Can't even brittle steal my own stuff. Like, what? I was. I was probably going to do it there. That with having like that man, I was about to do it, but then, you know, realized I couldn't. Okay, so we're still doing good. No. Ugh, put him down to one. So close. I do feel like they have another avalanche, maybe. How they played like that avalanche before, so that's that gives me pause about emptying my hand and playing this other stuff. Yeah, at least now we can use Brittle Steel. 
just want to fire off some brittle seals. So let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have five extra mana, so yeah, I could just fire off some brittle seals if I want. Um, there's not really a point in firing off brittle seals though. Okay. Okay. Not and ready. My shield is yours. Never mind. I'm gonna protect this against them getting a one one. For the glory of Damasia. Aha. We hit. That means Vile Feast will not take out. So I don't have to worry about Ruination, right? I guess, so I might as well play stuff. What's the problem with like playing like, you know, Bright Seal Protector, Rhyme Fang Wolf? The problem is they're going to concede. GG's. Playing against Scouts. No Lee Sin anywhere to be found. No Bastion. Our anti-Bastion deck is supposed to be playing against Bastion. Um, I mean, these are so these are all awesome tricks. I mean, so is Flash Freeze, but we need some we need some units. I'm gonna okay, cool. I'm just gonna keep the Troll Chant and the Brittle Seal though, because they are awesome cards in a matchup like this. But I could definitely use a Challenger. So we got the Frozen part. Now we need a Challenger. It's our deck. We got Frozen Challengers. <laughs> Not the most expensive challenger. Uh, I should have been more specific. We need a challenger <laughs> that, that doesn't cost six mana. We need a Fiora. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. It's a good challenger. Faster than my arrow? I think not. My shield is yours. That makes sense. I could basically, I could use the, I, basically, I could use the brittle steel, and it would allow me to attack. So I'd get two out of five for the ash. So it'd give me an extra level up for the ash. Well, that kind of hurts. A chill in the air. They want to use just flash freeze to use man use more mana. Alright, flash right. freeze. Strike now. So I get Genevieve Elmhart with two mana now. I couldn't have Genevieve Elmhart with I mean I could have it with three mana if I cast the Brittle Steel, but then I don't really get to do that much with three mana with uh, like there's not that much of a difference. The wood can't fight back, but I can't. I guess I would have been able to have the flash freeze available. Here. Their pride will cost them. So they go another repost. You know, Troll Chant does help me out. Okay. Good job, Genevieve Elmhart. You were a challenger. We needed a challenger. We got you. I'm very thankful. Avarosa, guide me! Okay. I guess I could have kept my both things alive if I would cast the troll chant. Guess I could have done that. Read 
Demacians are no easy trip. Just gonna use this. A gift from Avarosa. I wanna play the Bright Steel Protector on my next turn. So not another challenger. Slow down, will you? Come on, you big grouch. Um These woods belong to us. Show me a target. Nine mana? I kinda wanna play judgment. Kinda wanna cast judgment. It's probably not worth it. Judgment, that is. Judgment could be pretty cool. Wow, didn't even block Ash at all. Just took the six. damage. Bleh. That's less okay. Run them through. Uh -huh. Set sail. Certainly hope they don't have another if the, the last card's not another Run. rally. Be a good last card for them to have. So they've already had three attacks this turn. Okay, so we're going to harsh wins these two. Hold nothing back. We we'll get this attack for five in first. Make it rain. All right, well, let's make it eight. So they have to have something like a petty officer, something that gives them two units, or just another, okay, or another make it rain, but they didn't have that. All right, three and one. Ash is just really strong. So Trundle and Sejuani this time with Demacia. No Lee Sin. Really wanted to play against Lee Sin Zed. Don't get to choose what you get paired against, though. So Trundle with Demacia, huh? This is a little different. It's still, I mean, of course, Brittle Steel is still the worst card in our deck. Um, I guess I'll try this other stuff, though. That's the thing, is like, depending on the matchup, Brittle Steel can be like your best card or your worst card. It's like the worst card against Trundle and the best card against everything else. This land is ours. Okay, okay. Ooh. That's a good one. I'm gonna lead with the Fiora. So maybe Brittle Steel would not have been the worst card. Looks like Brittle Steel would have would have been pretty good. Yeah, it's looking like it would have been real good. So we could definitely use some spells, but I guess we won't get any. I'm gonna just the trap is set. Yeah, I'm just gonna play a couple of like these uh, other things here instead of just playing. Not and ready. Instead of just playing Ash. For the honor of 
Oh, I should be attacking with Icefield Archer, right? A 3-1 and trade a 3-1 with a 3-3. Should probably be attacking there. So if they got Troll Chant, they can, you know, keep their thing alive. You know, keep both their things alive. Okay, yeah, they can do it that way too. That's okay. I mean, so we just traded Fleet Feather Tracker for Troll Champ, basically. It can't be. I will unite the Freljord. You die here, Queen Ash. Okay, it's a Yeti deck. Lots of Yetis. My life for Everosa. Down to four. They walked around. Down to four. Can't quite double spell. Swiftly now. Oh god. With bright steel protector plus a five drop, that would be ideal. So I use harsh winds here. I don't want to use harsh winds here. You get another thing in play. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. I'm gonna use harsh winds on their attacking turn. Good draw. Can give me another spell. They should have another Enraged Yeti in hand right now. So yeah, they're going to play that. Um, My shield is yours. The trolls are going to war! Dang. I wanted them to go right to attacks. Good play by them. Because I, I can't play another unit now. And Harsh Winds. Um, so I could play Sergeant and have Repost. So let's see, if I play Sergeant and have Repost, then we Repost the Fiora, block the Sejuani. No, then we just we actually just die. Because of Overwhelm. So we have to Harsh Winds. Leave nothing standing. Okay, with this attack, we can just Repost. Instead of harsh winds and stay alive. And I'd rather get the trundle out of here with it about to level up than the Sejuani. Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Alright, Screeching Dragon. Come on in. Okay. Stand together. So, we're going to be frostbiting that 5-5. Five five. I guess we can't... Uh, I should have played the Swiftwing Lancer to kill the 5-5, five five, shouldn't I? Not the dragon. I was thinking of, like, growing the dragon, getting it to 6 health. Yeah, that was probably dumb. That was probably dumb. I should have played the Swiftwing Lancer. So this would get rid of both of their things that have Overwhelm. Cool. Nothing escapes my watch. Poor Demacia. Genevieve. So don't have enough for Harsh Winds and Troll Champ. We can only do one of the two. In Avarosa's name. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. So if we Frostbite two of those. Block one here. I'll stop you. 
Block the others like this. I don't want to risk the Ash dying to Fury of the North. Or other similar cards. Crap. That's good. So 11 mana. Again, we're one short from going Genevieve plus 4 to Masia. That's a good draw, though. Now I have Flash Freeze plus Troll Chant. I, mean, I guess I just... I can make it so they can't block, and I guess I just do that. Because I can Flash Freeze one of these. We got Ash level drop. Control chant, we'll just give this plus zero plus two, that minus two, minus zero. So given the Omen Hawk is making that zero power with the troll chant, Ash Attack makes that zero power. This thing was already zero power, so none of them can block. And there we go. GG's. Frozen Challengers beating the Yetis at their own game. A bunch of frozen stuff. Okay, so we didn't get get to get paired up against a Lee Sin deck, unfortunately. Wanted to see what that would have been like. Uh, but I think this could be a really good... Um, yeah, yeah. thanks, Sheltering Hands. A nice recovery. Cordex said, cool game. Thank, thanks, y'all. Um, I think this could be a good option in this metagame if people are turning more to Lee Sin, um, getting that Frostbite in there. Uh, Lee Sin does not kick if it has zero power. So that's important. The Lancer actually looked better than the Dragon in these games. It really did. You know, I, I was playing two and two because I wasn't exactly sure. You know, I've, there's arguments for each one, but in our deck, especially in our deck without having uh, single combat and concerted strike, the Lancer looked better with that five power. Um, the four health not mattering as much whenever our, our opponent's units are being frostbitten, but you need to be able to kill the things that are larger. So the Lancer did look better, and it did give us some some other good stuff. So I'd probably go three and one in that switch, but you know you can keep it two and two if you want to keep trying them out. Or I guess the Screeching Dragon's a common. Also, that's another reason to, to keep it two and two. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Ash seems to be really well positioned. Move forward. The Ash, Ash decks beat us up pretty bad with our Taric Lee. And then Ash looked good here with all of this stuff. Judgment was meh. It was fine. Yeah, it, it has blowout potential. It could certainly be a lot of other things. You can play another Cythria. You know, there's there's a lot of cards you can play if you want to play a top end card. If you want your own Bright Steel formation, or whatever whatever you want to play, um, it's it's kind of there to try out. Harsh Winds is just always amazing. I wouldn't mind a third Harsh Winds if you want that. Um, you know, lots of, lots of cards you can play. You can play another Cythria, because Cythria is really good. You can play another... You can play Concerted Strike. You can play Single Combat. Those cards are, are still going to be pretty good, probably. Um, so, you know, lots lots of options you can play for this Judgment, but I just wanted to try that out. Uh, Fiora did... Yeah, Fiora did well. Fiora, Fiora did really well, especially when paired with Ash. Um, Troll Chant was amazing. You could you could even play an Elixir of Iron instead of this Judgment if you want more protection against removal spells. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Fiora did uh, did well on that three mana slot. Um, could have you could have Sejuani. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Genevieve Elmhart's like the better six mana card. Like Genevieve Elmhart's just like the better champion. So like that's that's the thing about playing Fiora. Like you could play Ash and Sejuani in this deck if you, and you could you know basically you could replace Fiora with Laurent Protege. And then re replace like Cythria and Judgment and a Genevieve and, and play Sejuani's. Like you could go that route, um, but I just I think that the I think that Fiora is better enough over Protege that it's worth it than Sejuani instead of Cythria, um, if that makes sense. Because Genevieve's too good. You got to play Genevieve. Uh, it's it's hard to play six six mana cards. All right, so there's Frozen Challengers. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you're trying it out, let me know how it goes. If you get to play against Lee Sin Zed with the deck, definitely let me know how that goes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.